driving my first tractor in flip flops. Of course. You want people to see your feet? I don't. Look at You're this. Disgusting. That's through my shoes. That's yeah. ridiculous. Well, that's what happens when you walk 10 miles through the Wyoming mountains. Let's start the adventure. Yep, it's not supposed to look like that. I broke it in my panic trying to get away from those dogs. I did not want to get eaten by a sheepdog. What the heck? Whoa! <laughs> They did not look happy. So we're close to where we need to be, but that is not good right there. Not good at all. At least we're pretty close to the main road. I was able to limp it up to that main road. Um, where I stopped right there was just up over the hill was this main road that we're on. So I hopped in with Jess. Uh, we're gonna head down the road and uh, we'll get we'll get with that, that four wheeler later and figure that out. But right now we're gonna go. Check on the cows. Check on some cows. This is cool because we've never been down this road before. Yeah, it's so cool that there's still spots we've never been before. Well, when there's several thousand acres <laughs> at play and hundreds of miles of, of wilderness. This is the road that we're on that we could see from where we went yesterday when we pushed all the cows off that hill, right? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. All right, we found our cows. You see all that dust? They're, they're running down the mountain. So they're just stopped right behind us. They're right here. Um, so we're going to keep going up to see if we can find the head of them, the back of them. We're trying to find the back of them. But it looks cool seeing all the cattle just running down, creating all that dust. Man, this is awesome. This is amazing. So this is when the drone comes in super handy. You couldn't even see all those six cows that were way up in that ravine. So we went and got it with the drone. We you got, got them now. Come on, babies. Cows. So Almost this is how far they were all separated from the rest of the group. Watch this. So the drone's right on the tail of them. They do not like that sound and they move. That's awesome. <laughs> Good job. That's awesome, babe. <laughs> Next goal right now is that we are actually on foot and with drone and we're going to be walking and pushing them down this ravine right here. Lily's in one of the vehicles, Layla and Rylan are in another. Oh gosh, I'm still filming. <laughs> I've been filming for like four and a half minutes. what the process looks like on land. Corey's flying the drone back there. Lily's trailing with a car. Layla is somewhere down there, way far away near Justin. They're moving now. Found Layla. Get! It's not all that bad until you see a lone bull. I'm gonna let them handle that in the four-wheelers. Sometimes those bulls get a little ornery. Hey, 
That is a lot of cows. Never pushed them by foot before. Interesting. Lily! <laughs> so we're letting them sit here for a little bit because they need to mother up. And what mother up means is the calf and the mother need to pair back up because they sometimes they, they lose each other in a push. So if they don't mother up and they just sit here, they will go back to where they last saw each other. Right. So the calf will go way out there, the, the mom, mom will go. go way out there, but most likely they're here, they just haven't found themselves yet. So that's why they're giving them a rest period here so they can find each other, uh, and then we're gonna keep moving. But this is probably about as far as we're gonna take them today. Tomorrow we'll bring them the rest of the way up the road, but this was the hard day, I think. Yep, it's so sad because that's what you're hearing right now. Those are the moms calling their babies and the yeah. babies trying to find their moms. It's the saddest thing ever <laughs> until find, they find each they, other. They'll find each other. Yep. It's quite the process. We've never done it by foot before. Used the drone a ton today. It saved a ton just because this, you can't always get to these ravines and over the sagebrush and the bushes with a four-wheeler or a horse sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's just easy to do it with a drone. I might be cheating because I was just standing on the road and I was <laughs> I was chasing cows and pushing them. It's really cool. It Anyways, is. it's been a long, busy day. We still got to go get that four-wheeler. Um, I'm over my traumatization from almost getting eaten by those sheep dogs. Man, I'm terrified of dogs. Oh I really my am. gosh. Especially big white dogs that come at you like they're going to kill you. Yeah, but um, their job is to protect the sheep and that they're pretty good at it. That they'll be out here killing coyotes and like... Yeah. Yikes. Or little quarries. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to be part of the uh, statistic. So these are all babies that have not mothered up yet. Still haven't found their mamas. there so we're gonna fix it tomorrow <laughs> after about seven hours of pushing cows it's uh time to get cleaned up and get some dinner but here's the thing we've been away from home for a week so it's nice to uh I feel like we're coming back from vacation that's funny it really does which means there's a lot of unpacking to do oh there is use 707 for the old blower You want people to see your feet? I don't. Look at You're this. That's disgusting. through my shoes. That's yeah. ridiculous. Well, that's what happens when you walk 10 miles through the Wyoming mountains. That's it for the night. <laughs> see you guys later. Good morning. We are definitely taking on a more of a support role today. Um, this is no longer going to be clean. We're taking <laughs> this up there. And we're going a lot more prepared th this, uh, this morning. This so trip? Our first order of business is to replace the tie rod tie ends. Rods. We are... <laughs> Don't worry, Corey has his hatchet. I mean his hammer. Yes, but uh, we got some food, some drinks, lots of tools. We are... We're gonna be ready. We are prepared. Oh, In really? theory, this should be really fast, but you never know. <laughs> I got big hands and that's, that inner tie rod is gonna be a little tight for me. I'll help. <laughs> <laughs> Lily's, Lily's got small hands. <laughs> All right, we gotta go, we gotta go. It's a beautiful morning light. It was a nice sunrise this morning. We've been preparing. Now it's time to hit the road. So this is, uh, this is the before. It'll be a nice shade of uh, orange. I don't think it's gonna be quite as bad as when we took it up in the snowstorm. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. <laughs> There's and still some mud under there that the I just cleaned out. Your that truck was has like run. two years ago. I know. Every once in a while, he'll be doing something up under the truck and be like, oh, there's a little bit of the ranch. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Let's start the adventure.
lonely, lonely four-wheeler. <laughs> We're gonna fix her right up. Oh, let's get her all fixed up. Let's do it. Oh yeah, she's a little cockeyed. <laughs> I even brought a little stool. Look at you. You're I'm like prepared. Let's see how well this thing is holding nice. Oh yeah. It's gonna be cold. Nice. I think it's awesome. We do need to find something to prop this up on. Jack this up on. Hmm. This is a little bit easier than the adjustable. <laughs> Guess that reach. Okay. All right. All right. So that was our. Uh, <laughs> Those are quick fix. Yeah, see how the wall yeah. joint just it's exploded. Completely gone. It's supposed to look like that. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look. Those are our cows. They're coming down the road the way they're supposed to. Are we gonna mess them up over here? They should just keep coming. I don't see anybody. Oh, yeah, they're Those just coming by themselves. Crazy. We want them to stand on the road. Yeah, just keep them on the road. Nice. Look at that. Woohoo! Get those cows! When the water's spilling over the bow, you'll still have me in the way. You gotta get up to get down, kid. You gotta get down to get up again. Gotta get up to get down, kid. You gotta get down to get up again. You gotta get up to get down, kid. You gotta get down to get up again. You gotta get up to get down, kid. Hey. You gotta get down to get up again. There's our Layla on our newly fixed four-wheeler. Good job, Layla. Looks like we might get some rain. Here are the first of the cows right here coming from over that hill there. And this is their ultimate field for the next couple months before they're moved all the way down. You can see right here, that little archway right there, that's where they're all gonna go through. It's been a pretty good day so far. Got the four-wheeler fixed, cows are moving, we're winning. So right now, Jess is up at the tail end, bringing the rest of them in. Justin and Ben right now are sorting the cows right now. So they're pulling out the bulls and they're taking this time to separate other people's cows as well. Because, you know, things, fences don't always work. So things get a little mixed. So this is one of those times that they take to sort them out and then people come and pick them up. Okay, so those cows up there, they're going the wrong direction. So I got to get on a four-wheeler and 
and start heading in the right direction because they can go into this pasture that way too when we don't want them going that way because actually Ryland and Lily right there are counting all the cows that are going in. Seems like maybe there's not a lot going on, but there's, there's a lot going on. Gosh, this view, it never gets old. So obviously that whole area right there is the pasture that they will live in for the, for the next few months. the cattle drive we are at the holding pen for where we're gonna separate moms and calves in a little bit it has been a long couple of days Layla's on a four-wheeler Lily is counting with Ryland down at the bottom because they have to make sure that they have all of their cows I think so, there's like 13 or 1400 cows including calves and moms and bulls it's crazy I'll hear in a minute. crazy crazy all right, so we are wrapped up for the day. We are headed back down the mountain. All the cows are where they need to be. And Corey is driving a four-wheeler back, so he's in front of us, and we're just gonna enjoy the scenic view down the mountain. your breath away every single time. It never gets old how much of the country you could see on this drive. Like those are the Bighorn Mountains over there. You can just see, you can just see the mountains, the land just build up. This is another view that just never gets old. When you see all the farms that um, operate their pivots and stuff and everything is pretty green up here. Then you get the red rock and then these you have these vivid fields of green that are that are watered never gets old never gets old some of the neighbors helped out this morning and we 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 got way ahead of schedule so it's successful awesome. day so this is the after it's not it's not as bad as i thought but it's also super bright out here so i don't even think you can see anything just dusty it looks it's got like a orange hue to it the back end is really what what gets it. Oh gosh, that's really dusty. Gives me an excuse to clean it. She's doing what she's meant to. I wonder if the blower will blow any of that off. Let's give it a try. It is probably 20 or 30 degrees hotter down here versus up there on the mountain. And I don't know if we've mentioned it, but it's about an hour up that road and probably total to where we went this morning, about an hour and a half to where that four wheeler was. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but it's a good, it's a good trip.
Okay, so uh, I'm driving my first tractor. And flip flops, of course. Picking up some hay late at night. Layla's driving the truck. It's the first time she's towed anything. That's Layla driving the tractor, or as we loving really refer to it as uh, the stabber. For them. So we've been here over a week printing all of your orders at my brother's shop. It's been so much fun to see everything kind of come together. All the stuff we've been working on. We have blankets for the first time, so Check we're excited about out. that. Travel blankets. Layla's taking care of those right now. Lily's folding shirts over, or sweatshirts. Lily, show me what you're doing. Show me the one you're folding over there. That's the full color. Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. We okay, didn't have... This is what we're so excited about because we did not have photos of them for you guys until right now because they just came in. But these are our fully custom hats, aqua lining on the inside, custom tags on oh, the back. Yes. This is our patriotic American flag on the side. Oh, yes. These are so, yeah, sorry we didn't have photos of that before, but they just came in. Uh, so, just to be clear, the store is closed for everything except the hats right now. So if you did not get your hats, you can still go on and order for our Black Friday special edition extension of the store. Everything else will have a back available again in the spring.